Hi everyone, it's Alex and I thought I would let you know how Henry is getting on. Today he is a little bit spooky. A couple of days ago we had some bugs to send on the field one evening. Um, we think they might have been something like a hornet um, or some kind of bee and it upset quite a few of the horses, um, including Henry. Um, he cut his face again, we think, from trying to get one of these bugs off his face. Um, he probably caught his cast on his hoof. Um, but since then, he's been quite spooky and very ironically difficult to catch. <laughs> um, he's okay with me touching him again. He's okay with me grooming him, feeding him, and doing some of the basics. Um, but today he is a little bit unsure of me putting the right poulter on. Um, so the other day when these bugs were in the field, I got the right poulter on him, um, <laughs> got the lead rope on him, and he panicked. Um, and so I think he's, he's a little bit unsure again. Um, so this is something we're working on today. So I've just spent probably about five minutes herding him around in the field. Um, I thought if he does it again now, I can, I can show everyone uh, how to catch a horse that's not very easy to catch in the field. Um, there is a very big chance that he's going to be absolutely fine now, um, but we'll see how it goes. So right now I'm just going to get him to touch the halter and take it away again. Get him some off and touch the halter. Touch. Good boy. Take it away again. Give him lots of praise. So this is just to build confidence. Um, he's a very anxious pony. And touch. Touch, good boy. And um, I really want to do all I can just to build his confidence in all areas, even when it seems incredibly basic. Touch. Not me, buddy. Touch. Good boy. And so we're building from the bottom up at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. So now I've actually got him close to me and he's touching the horse. This is a huge step forward from what it was about five minutes ago. Touch. Good boy. Might have another horse come over in a second. Hello. <laughs> so this big muzzle here is uh, coming into shop. <laughs> oh, what are you two doing? <laughs> Seeing what's going on, I think. Hey, do you want to touch? Oh, good boy. This is MP. He's definitely uh, <laughs> not nervous. Alright, so I'm just going to carry on. Hopefully, um, you guys will see what I'm doing. So, putting the halter up, take it off. Anxious around um, his ears at the moment. Good boy. Okay. Good boy. So am I going to put the halter on him now? I am, buddy. I am. Touch. Good boy. Um, he might walk away, in which case I can show you uh, what I do. If he doesn't walk away, then it's a bonus and you'll see me have a win today. Um, but all I'm going to do today with him is literally get the halter on him. So what I thought was going to be a really good training session in the school is now turning into just catching my pony again, um, which I thought was well behind us, but um, this is how it goes with horse training. So again, touch. When he's coming forward, buddy. So he's backing away. Gonna build his confidence again. Touch. Good boy. Well done. Well done. Touch. 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 It's all right. So even if he doesn't touch the halter, if he is moved in the right direction, I'm going to praise that anyway. You can never ever praise your horse enough, um, especially little chaps like Henry, um, where his confidence has gone. So. We want to build that up the best we can. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. I don't want to crowd him, so if he walks away, I'm not going to chase him. Good boy. I want to try and approach him from the front um, and not so much from the side. 
Um, if you're approaching your horse from the side, especially if they're nervous, depending on where you are and how you're facing, your body language could be pushing them forward and driving them forward. Um, so this is something to bear in mind if you're trying to catch, um, hard to catch horse. put onto his nose. Good boy. I'm going to take it off again. I don't want to get him worried. You can have a treat for that one. <laughs> I'm going to back, walk back over here. So I'm going to take my time with this. Um, I don't want to spook him. I don't want him to feel worried or anxious. Good boy. And again, it's all about confidence building. And we're in no rush. It really helps if we didn't have your friends around there, hey? Good boy. So again, up the nose. Good boy. I'm going to take it off again. And you want a treat. He tends to take a step back when um, I go to give him a treat. This is, for him, a comfort thing. He likes to have people in front of him say so you're in his line of view. So we're going to work on that as well. Good boy. Don't like that. Bring the top over. Good boy. Yeah, well done. I'm going to take it off again. So hopefully, step by step, we're going to build that confidence back up. Good boy. Touch. Take it away. Come okay, over here. See if he comes over. Good boy. Touch. Not my hand. There's no treat there, buddy. Try it one more time. This time I'm going to do the whole wrap and then that'll be the end of session. So touch, take it away. Good boy. Lots of praise. Touch. Take it away. Not too much, then I'm gonna take it away again. Back in the back in the way from the space again. Good boy. Loads of praise when he comes to me. Give him some love, touch, take it away. Love a boy. Love a boy. I'm going to go up and over your head. Love a boy. So if he moves his head away from me, I am going to just bring it back around gently. Do this up. I'm going to bring his head down. Give him some love. Good boy. I give him a treat with his halter on. We've actually got two horses uh, <laughs> right beside us as well. So lots of distractions. Good boy. Well done. Good job. So that is end of our session today. It's obviously incredibly exciting, but these are little training um, bits that we have to do. And when your horse loses confidence, or if you've got a nervous horse, it's taking these really small steps and changing your plan for the day to uh, build confidence that makes huge differences going forward. So I hope um, that was informative. <laughs> if nothing else, you got to see some pretty horses and muzzles. Um, but yeah, stay tuned and I will uh, get some more videos out there very soon. Thank you. So now we've been doing that exercise to build confidence and get the halter back on Henry. Um, he is now super relaxed and approaching me in the field again, which is good boy, which is really, really good. Um, but it just goes to show that even when you've got really fun plans ahead with your horse, um, it could just be the very simple little exercises that make all the difference. And you know what, it's actually pretty fun as well. You get to build a bond with your pony. Um, and building confidence for them is always a plus. <laughs> I don't usually let them do this. <laughs> you good boy. But yeah, um, I thought I would just show you the results of what we've just done. 
Um, I wish I'd got, got a bit of footage um, from before where he was running circles around. Um, but it honestly makes all the difference. Take smaller steps um, and get big progress. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> Good boy, Yeshua. 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 Oi, you're gonna get my t-shirt all green. <laughs>